Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial from Tango and Rakia. Today we are going to show you how to navigate through Momondo and how to book a ticket and get the best price from it. So the first thing that I am going to show you today, if you see at the top right corner of the screen, you can choose the currency. In our case we will keep it as euro. Then we can also choose the language. You have many options, but in our case we are going to choose English so everyone understands. You accept the cookies. And finally you have the login option that in this case you can choose between do it with your booking.com account, Facebook, Apple or Google. We prefer to use our Google account, so we are going to do so. That's it. there it is. Now, if you see in the main page, the first thing that you find is the option to look for flights. You can put from where you are going, where you want to go, and you want to depart, and when you want to return. But we are going to return to this a little bit later. Now I want to show you a little home page, what you can find there. For instance, if you scroll a little bit down, you will start to see some proposal and destinations that are available now with, with certain restrictions, but they are open to tourism. As you can see there, the section is called Destinations you can travel to now. And they show you that despite some restrictions, countries like Turkey, Egypt, Ireland, Poland, France, Portugal, Netherlands, they are accepting visitors, but you need to be vaccinated or you need at least to have a test. And you scroll a little bit down, you have some travel inspiration blog posts and they are telling you about some particular places or situation with coronavirus in the traveling. So it's cool and this information is changing all the time so it worth to peep it from time to time. And then if you scroll a little bit down you find some trending cities and countries and suggestions if you don't know where to start or where you want to go. Maybe it's a good point to start having an idea. And then you scroll a little bit down, you find some more deals. And this section that we love, they are explaining you here how to get the best deals utilizing Momondo. So maybe you can dedicate 10 minutes to read this information on top of this tutorial where we are going to give you the basic and the key tips to use it in the best way as possible. Then if you see at the left part of the screen, you have a main menu where you can choose to book flights, book stays, cars, campers, and trains. Today we are going to be focusing on the flights a little bit later when we finish with the menu, but it's important that you know that you can as well book other things and not only flights here. Yes. Then you have another great option that if you decide at this point where you are, you want to go and you book your ticket, they have a section that is called things to do. And here you can investigate and know a little bit more the country or the city that you are going to visit. So for example, if you are going to Paris, you can write it here. You go to search. And after a later here you will get a lot of results with all the touristic attractions uh, that you can visit when you are visiting Paris or the uh, trips that you can take from the city. I don't know, for example, you can go to Versailles, that it is one hour from Paris. That could be a one day trip. Or then you have options to take food and drinks, like best places to go to eat, where to go at night for a drink, day trips, as I was mentioning, tours, etc. So from here you can directly make your bookings as well, so you don't have to be jumping from one side to another. So this is good to investigate to get an idea of what you can do or what you can visit in a specific place. 
And then you have another great perk from this side, that is the option Explore. In the Explore option, basically, you can come with no idea where you want to go and know exactly when you want to go and still get some good deals and good proposal from the Momondo. So for example, let's say that you can start to filter it a little uh, and try to find the best destination. So you can say that you don't want to make more than one stop. You can say that your budget is up to 1000 euros. You can say, for example, that you don't want to travel more than eight hours. And you want to go to the beach, not to the mountain. So you see, for example, it gives you two options from where we are located now. We can go to Valencia or to Malaga for very good price. Then you have the option, that for example, you can say we are departing from Barcelona. And then the result will change depending on which city. There we have many more options that if we are departing from Pamplona. And then you can investigate each of them. For example, let's say that we want to go to Corfu in Greece. And here you have the option to check the flights. There are direct flights. For example, we can go here. And as you can see, now it will bring you all the results for that specific destination. In this case, we choose to go to Corfu. And in this particular day, that is in August, in this case, in the next summer. As you see here on the top, the first thing is that you can decide if you want direct flights or not. In our case, we will leave it blank by now, so we have more options. And then you have a little chart where you can see the price of the tickets around the different dates. That for the outbound plane and for the return plane. And then if we scroll a little bit down, you see all the results actually on your screen. But there are many and it's very difficult to go through all of them. So here it is when we can use the filter at the left of the screen. For example, we can decide if we want only one stop, two stop or direct flights. In this case, we don't have direct flights, but we will try to avoid to make two stops. We want to arrive there with only one stop. Then you can also tell them that you want to have one cabin bag and one check bag to see if they are allow it or not. We can scroll a little bit down. You can decide when you want to take off. We can say in the afternoon, but we want to return at night, right? It shows you the amount, in this case, there are not flights, so we need to extend a little the flight, the time of the return. Still, we don't have much. So, maybe we can leave it all. Let's see. No, the problem is we go, well, okay, you can try this. Base on the needs. Apparently most of it of this plane goes in the morning. So if we scroll a little bit down, also you can decide if you want to see the result of one specific airline. Or maybe if you have some bad experience with one of them, you want to avoid it at any price, then you just remove it from here and you won't see the result. And if you scroll a little bit down, you have also some filter for airports, the duration of the flight, prices, etc., etc. Like the kind of airplane that you want to travel in. So, but going back a little here, let's say that we apply some filters, but yet there are many results. So you can sort it out if you see on top of the screen. We can go for the cheapest option. And the cheapest option comes here. So you can fit here. And then view the deal. What you can do as well is pick one 
instead of picking the whole package as it is presented here, you will be able to pick it with a different return. So, that is. And then you get this deal. Now, if you go to see it with all the details, you will be redirected to the specific site that was selling that ticket because as many other sites Momondo is not really selling the ticket but showing the, the deals only then you are redirected to the specific travel operator or agent that is selling the ticket in that case was booking.com where you can finalize the purchase of the ticket but going back a little to Momondo as you see, there are many options to filter and find the most suitable ticket. Nevertheless, sometimes you will find the best price in many other you want. One of the things that we don't like about this platform is that it happens quite often that you see one price here and immediately after when you are redirected to the new site, the price is not longer that one. So that could be very frustrating at some times. But it's also true that if you navigate it deeply and you compare it with other platforms, many times you manage to find good deals. Overall, you also have the option where you can save most of the money that is booking everything through them. So to book a package where you include your flights, the hotel and the car rental if you want it. And on top of it, you can add excursion and tours. So the good thing about this is in most of the cases buying all together will definitely save you some time. It is also true that you can say maybe five percent, and in another case, it's up to thirty or forty. It will depend on the season and on the destination. Nevertheless, it's always good to check and compare with other platforms, and also compare what's the price difference if you take everything individually or in the package. Now let's go to see a little bit more of the feature for booking flights. So it has a couple of very cool things here. For example, let's say that we are going to depart from Barcelona, but you don't really know where you want to go. Then you have the option that is called can decide where to go anywhere. And then if you search, you will see many results. Let's say that we are going this day. Uh, here make it short. and then we keep the same route trip one adult and economy class in that case you will see a lot of options as we see before when we were going to explore and you can follow the same steps it's another way but okay let's go a little bit back again now let's say that we want to book a ticket from Barcelona to Paris in this day. So we can search it. Then we get all the results here, which you can filter as we saw before. So there is no need to repeat that part, but as you know, on the left, we have all the filters. In this case, we are going to sort it just for the cheapest. And one thing that is very cool also at Momondo is that let's say that we like this ticket. If you see on top left, you see the price predictor. So they tell you now is a great time to book. And that the prices are unlikely to decrease in the next week. So if you don't want to pay more, this is a good moment to book. And still, if you want to know how it's going to move in the next following day because you're not sure about booking now then you can set up the price alert on and you will start to receive alert to the mail of the account which the way the one that you use to log in here and another cool option is that you can combine let's say that for example this ticket for departure is good but then you are not sure about the return then you can use, as you can see, you can flag many other options. And you can even combine different different ways 
of traveling because for it for, as you can see here for example you can go with Ryanair but return with bus well, let's check this so we can see it a little bit more in detail and as you can see here you have your departure with Ryanair which is the direct flight but instead on the return you will return by bus always to Barcelona to different stations and this combination is only offered through this provider in this case only kiwi.com you get this good thing so it's very good feature because sometimes combining different ways of transport you can get better deals than if you are stuck with one specific so it's always good to navigate the data and finally as you see when you find the deal you are not really getting it from Momondo so you are always working and paying with a travel operator or travel agent external to them so any problem cancellation or changes that you want to make you need to deal with a specific operator or agent and as you can see let's say that we pick this deal we are going to be immediately redirected to a third party site in this case kiwi.com and here you can just go to the ticket that you want and follow the procedure to book it and pay so going back a little we also have a great thing in the menu that talks about the travel restrictions where you can directly just set up a country where you want to go for example let's say that you want to go to Ukraine and here you will have the specific information about the country what you need to to do if you need vaccination test and so on so this is all about Momondo I hope you like the video if you have some doubts or if you have some question please don't hesitate and leave a comment below if you like this tutorial I suggest you to watch all the others that you will find in the description with travel tips and travel guides of our trips around the world and also you can visit our webpage www.tanguanrakia.com and of course if you love our videos don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching